This place is pretty cool, even though there's not really much inside. I'm not really sure what these cars could have been, but I can see the name on it. Remember in the beginning when I told you like a serial killer was hiding up here in the mountains? Pretty simple looking house, but inside is a time capsule. Are you serious, dude? There's Pokeballs here. I guess someone was running for an election. This is in the middle of nowhere. What do you guys find? Skeletons. We gotta film this house and just get out of here. <laughs> What's going on today, Rowan fam? Hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name's Steve Rowan, and we go on Epic Avengers every single week. Right behind me, guys, we're, we're gonna be exploring this abandoned mansion from like the 1960s. Pretty old place. I believe the style of architecture is colonial, and I believe this is like a Sears house, which basically back in the day, it was like their Amazon where they would order parts of a house from Sears for like $2,000, and they would have to ship it to the location, they would have to build it on site. And this is one of them. Anyway, the area that I'm exploring at is very rural in Alabama. There's not a lot around this area there's so many abandoned places we're gonna be hitting today in this location but the freaky part about this place is that way back in the mid 1950s there's a serial killer that was hiding out here and he would also hide the, the dead bodies of his victims around the location so pretty pretty freaky stuff so yeah who knows maybe the serial killer could have like stumbled across this area or like hid around this house too you never know I just came here for the photos I love the exterior shots there's not really much inside there's only a few vintage stuff but the rooms are pretty decent i think you guys will enjoy this a lot because of the architecture and the photos that we can take here so hope you guys enjoy it before the adventure begins guys smash that thumbs up and let's get inside guys i just love how the front looks you got these two magnolia trees and when they bloom they're like these white flowers so a lot of the time the locals call this deck magnolia home when it's in blooming season in case you're wondering what type of architecture the house is it's called the queen ant first time seeing something like this So this is the patio. Wow, look at that swing bench. This is a nice one. Like, look at the design. We just made it inside. Got some mattresses laying on the floor. I can tell this is gonna be a pretty nice house. Still got an old purse. Inside. Guess this was a fireplace. Kind of got blocked off. This has like a bunch of rocks and seashells. Someone probably collected this when they went to the beach. There's some sort of bird's nest. Oh wow. There's still some clothes here. I'm already loving the setup. Oh, what's this? Huh. It's like in an open box. You can see like some sort of racket and a ball. Oh! The piano, the piano is still here. Harley works now. I like this little window right here. These are nice curtains. I like how the flower is just on the chair. Okay, this is a strange room right here. But I guess someone was running for 
an election. This sort of looked like it could have been the kitchen. So we got a lot of stuff in this cabinet. Now it's a pretty simple home, but I really want to explore this place because of the history of the area. So I think we just looked at all the rooms already. I'm gonna take some shots. I, uh, I spotted some nice ones that we can take. Here's the bathroom. Upstairs, guys. Be sure to check out our Instagrams. We took a lot of cool photos down here. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. And if you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So I would appreciate it. But yeah, let's get up there. The stairway is pretty small. So we just made it upstairs. Looks like there's only two rooms here. One on the right and one on the left. I'll check out the one on the left. Whoa. Okay, there's a good amount of stuff left behind. Kinda sketched out to be walking up here. When I was downstairs I can hear one of my friends walking up here and it didn't sound sturdy at all. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, nothing too crazy. It's just a bunch of clothes, blankets, bed sheets, pillows. Yo, check out these hives. Found some wasps in this. These are probably here from like last summer. Okay, so you still got clothes in this closet too. Well, that frame is kind of weird. I'm not a fan of it. Even has wheels. Check out the room on the opposite side now. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of you guys would be <laughs> really interested in the clothes here. They're pretty vintage and they look pretty sick. Like like that nightgown or this it's like a little sweatshirt. Definitely belong to some elderly women. I like the wallpaper in this room a lot. A little snake toy. Yeah. Actually, that's for... Uh, that dog? Like a dog toy? I think what they do is they put it under the doors to stop the draft. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it keeps the, the air from coming in, so they just... You see all different kinds of designs. Right. Usually like a snake or something like that, and you put it at the bottom to yeah keep out the, the wind from coming in. Gotcha. You know? And right in the middle here between the rooms, you got a screen porch. Wow. This one's really nice. Sit out here at night time or in the day. Right, I sit on a chair, look out the balcony. No mosquitoes for the chair. So I've shown you the front in the beginning, but let's take a look around, you know? I think there's more things we can find and more of the architecture that we can see from the outside. There's also these abandoned cars left behind right in the front lawn. I'm not really sure what these cars could have been, but I can see the name on it. 
I think that says Supreme. If you happen to know a little bit about this car, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Give us some information. It's pretty nice. This is how the inside looks. Everything's still pretty intact. It's not going anywhere, that's for sure. And over here is another car. It's different. It's made by Chevy. I'm pretty sure because of the emblem right here. Yeah. Wow. Can we open this up? Ah, oh, it's super heavy. We're gonna take a peek inside. Everything still looks like it's there. Man, it saddens me to see this. I love it when abandoned homes or mansions have like abandoned cars left behind too. This place is pretty cool, even though there's not really much inside. I think this makes up for it in the photos you can get here. I also love how rural it is and like how it's just in the middle of nowhere. This thing ain't going anywhere too. You already got plants and flowers just growing underneath it. But I love it though. It gives such a cool apocalyptic look to it. And then here's the inside. that chimney so calm and peaceful here oh there is a basement kind of creeped out remember in the beginning when I told you like a serial killer was hiding up here in the mountains they still have yet to find the rest of the bodies so like places like this man I feel like one would be in here Oh, it's so dark. Well, even my camera's low light can handle this. I don't think. But yeah, there's like nothing. It's all dirt. It's not really a basement either. This is just the beams underneath the house. Let's see what else. Oh, okay. They had a little deck right here too. That was in the kitchen with all those posters. You got the backyard here. It has more of those signs. I guess this place was just used for storage for these things. Alright guys, so I think that's a wrap. It's just a shed over here. It doesn't look too interesting in my opinion, but might as well just check it out. Got a little nice fireplace right here. So you can have a little Nice bonfire. Can I open this? Ooh, that's really destroyed. Pretty chill place. You know, good vibes, really nice photos, nice mansion and abandoned cars. What's there not to love about it? So yeah, I got more to explore today. I think we're gonna hit another abandoned mansion or house around the area. And if you want to check out all the photos I took on this adventure today, check out my Instagram, at Steve Ronan. Link in the description as well. exploring and trying to get to this band house in front of me huh this is in the middle of nowhere okay this barn is pretty cool come over over to my left over here yeah there's like a, a board that you can climb up okay so they just said that they found something really cool upstairs I guess the way to the top is right over here what do you guys find skeletons skeletons bro from humans <laughs> No, we don't know Not that they're baby humans. Okay. This is an easy climb. It's pretty dangerous right there. 
Oh, a chest. All right. Oh, what? Yep. I, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say right now. And they're just organized like that? Uh, yeah. We just walked up and they were like just sitting here like this. That's creepy. So just birds, huh? I... Bird skulls or maybe mouse skulls? No, I think it's a like a rodent. Yeah. Like a family of rodents. But what killed them right here like this, I have no idea. Because they, they didn't get trapped because... No. Right. I mean, look at how many there are right there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Actually, that's just get, the heads. All right. All right. That's already something creepy. And we still have to get to the time capsule house. I kind of want to start walking back. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think happened here? Leave a comment down below. So we found a chest with family memorabilia. I don't know why I always have trouble saying that. Oh, we got some clothes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I also like the design of That's it. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Wow. Oh wow, these are just letters sent to like friends and family. Nothing really too important. Ooh. Scrapbook. Oh wow. Such a cool barn. It's like a, a little journal. Oh what? This is cool. You guys see this? Uh photo book, photo album. And then you have hammer over here. Oh, this one says me playing piano. So this is the family that used to live at the house we're going to go to. It's cool to see the lifestyle down the south back in the day. So I like this find right here, guys. 1958. And there's a lot more things. We even got some slippers and shoes, more photo albums, club records. But I'm ready to head over to the house and see the time capsule. What? This is just all bones right here? We thought we found a bunch of look, look at this right here. Yeah. That's all bones right here. Pretty loud. Or I don't know what it is actually. It's a spine. Yeah, it is a spine, isn't it? All right. Okay. We gotta film this house and just get out of here. It's freaking me out. Like, who would do these things in here? <laughs> trekked through this forest over here just to get to this location so we finally made it here guys pretty simple looking house but inside is a time capsule i mean there's so many things from the photos that my friends have sent me i'm quite excited to get in there i love time capsules it's been a while since i explored one and to explore one here in the south it's gonna be my first time, so let's go. But I don't really know anything about this place. I don't know why I got abandoned. I believe it was built around the 1960s. Family with two kids used to live here. And I think like an infestation happened and so they had to just get out and move. And the place has just been abandoned ever since. I believe like 2010. Kind of weird. I don't really see anything overgrown, but I think there was like a big ant problem, especially during the summer. It's starting to get really hot here. I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of the infestation, which is good. So let's head on inside. But before we head inside, let's go take a look at how it looks like from the outside. Check out this field. That is beautiful. So this is how the front looks like. Not in bad shape, I would say. It's your typical Southern home, like a farmhouse. That's why there's like a barn shed right there. It's crazy, you can't even see the steps anymore. Alright guys, so we just entered this abandoned home. Eric actually found this. Do you have anything, like any information about the place? Nothing at all. You were just driving one day, you just saw it overgrown, and just decided to check it out. Bando. Well dude, this is one of the craziest time capsule southern homes I've ever been in. Probably the most I've ever been, you know? I've never seen so many things here. I'm not, I can't even tell when, when this place was abandoned, but... From the looks of it, I mean, there's colored photos, there's things from like the early 2000s, so that's when I think this place could have been abandoned. Just crazy how overgrown it is now. 
But anyway, Eric's gonna help me with the lighting. It is pretty dark in here, so yeah, my boy Eric, just gonna follow me around. Let's do it. We'll give you a tour. Okay, so this is the living room. Hmm. Yeah, like this TV shelf with no TV. But wow, dude, this place is really untouched. So crazy, so many vintage things that I'm sure a lot of you guys would enjoy. Like, look at that lamp. I guess they were a fan of ducks. I've seen ducks everywhere. Oh wow, look at this like nutcracker. Now it's a small house, but the amount of stuff in here to show you guys can take like an entire day. Got some stuffed animals here. So I'm guessing a kid used to live here too. Oh wow, look at this thing. It's a barrel, and he made it to like a little cabinet. Wow, this thing is like still brand new. Let's look at the plastic over it. Here's a furnace. So they would heat up the whole home. Can't believe like the wood is still here, left behind too. Oh wow, that's really cool. Never seen something like this before. Yeah. It's like opens in different sides. That's legit. Yeah. <laughs> that wow. is cool. Some I have a fascination with keys. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's like a decor. Yeah. Pretty sweet, man. There's another one, too. That's awesome. That one's bigger. Hell yeah. We got a little toy gun here. There's so many things hanged up on the wall. Oh man, that is creepy. Is that. Oh, check it out. Is that Gold rings? Yeah. yeah. Gollum, bro. That's Gollum. Let's see. I wonder what happened to the family here. I know, dude. So wild. This is even that. This is the temperature right now. It's like 44 degrees. Wow. Oh, we got a huge trophy here. Look how big that is, bro. Damn. Second place. What's it say? What's SR2. What sport was that for? You can't make it what it says. Oh, are you serious? Dude, there's Pokeballs here. Oh, word. Wow. I'm guessing now there must be even Pokemon cards if they're Pokemon fans. That'd be wild to find. There's a 2008 calendar here. So that's probably when this place was last lived in. Yeah, look at that painting. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's hand painted. That's oil paintings. Could have been a portrait of, like, the daughter. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I'm loving all the paintings. This one too right here is really nice. Even has a signature on it, so it's legit. More Pokemon stuff. We got Pikachu. <laughs> where are you? Over here. Oh, that's where the attic? I'm going up in the attic, man. Okay. Oh, I've seen one chest already. Let me know how it goes. I'll be exploring down here. Word? Damn, look at the kitchen. It's like a hoarder's kitchen. This is a pretty rough house to live in. My guess is that there's probably an infestation here and the family had to move out just by the looks of it. Here's the bathroom. I can't even really walk inside. That microwave looks pretty modern. The stove. This one's pretty old looking. But they kind of clean it up. Made it look pretty new. Yeah, you don't see these type of stoves or ovens too often. I mean, look at this oven, how it looks like. Got like a timer on the front of it. Or not a timer, but it says like the degrees of how hot it is inside. That's pretty neat. Yo, Eric, you want to check the refrigerator? We gotta always, open this I'm up. Down yeah, we gotta check it. Always down. All right, hold on. Let me get a good view for the audience. Ready? You ready, guys? We're gonna do it. Here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Close that back. Close wow, that back, bro. Wow, Close wow, that wow. back. 
Oh, oh lordy. Alright. Oh, that's a mouse. Oh, that's a mouse. Okay, let's get out. Okay. Let's get out. Okay, done. Oh. <laughs> Damn All right, we're staying out of the kitchen now. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. We are leaving this place. If you heard the dogs barking in the video, that's because someone came out and kind of told us to leave, so we're leaving respectfully. But we explored everything here. We got to see all the rooms. You know, there's no second floor, there's only a first floor. But what a time capsule, and what a creepy barn they had. But anyway, if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Also, check out the gang. We got Janet Photography, and we got Worldwide Hammer. Their links will be down below. They also took a lot of amazing photos, so you gotta check them out. Also, my Instagram is linked down below too. But yeah, until next time, guys, live a life of freedom more, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.